Good evening from Yami B TV. Wish you all well today. Sending loads of love as usual. Now, before I get into this video, uh, the one I'm going to do now, uh, I wonder how some of you are going to take this video and how you would have dealt with it, especially if you've been to prison before. Because let me talk, let me talk about what happened before uh, uh, this this event happened anyway. So I went training today for the first time in ages. Um, I started doing some some physio work again. You know, I've got a bicycle, uh, but with my spinal injury, I have to do. If I'm serious or when I'm serious or I'm becoming serious again, uh, I have to do individual, uh, use individual instruments of all kinds for all different parts of muscles and joints. You know, my fingers, toes, that kind of stuff. Very, very serious. And if you leave them for too long, the joints shorten, uh, the feelings in your fingers. I'm forever dropping things and feelings of things and you know the difficulties with finding my feet even some days i don't even know where they are that's how deep they, that my injuries are and i know loads of people have got injuries uh but those that have had their body completely paralyzed will know what i'm talking about so let's hope i can keep you up to date on how this is going to go because i'm setting an eight week program and as soon as i do my first week or two weeks and i get that under my belt then I'm gonna start coming up every day and do a few short ones and see if I can reach a decent standard again of physicality. Uh, it's never gonna be the same as it once was, but straight after, when, when the injuries first happened, I still managed to get it to a decent uh, standard again, if you get what I mean. But, you know, it's one of those ones. Uh, it has to be constantly worked at, otherwise it, otherwise it just deteriorates and it's degenerative any, any, anyway and it can only get worse with time so uh, not putting a doom and gloom on things but I'm going to have a go and I'm going to make sure you lot see that I have a go but anyway over the years I, I have seriously been violated by some prison officers it's fair to say and I have also violated prison officers right so I often wondered, especially during those bad moments when, like, for instance, I was in Belmarsh once and I got lucky again during a search uh, and they come into the cell, uh, but they were about two minutes too late. And again, they were screaming because you know that I was laughing because I know that they missed the boat. They know that they missed the boat. And the prison, the prison officer just punched me straight in my mouth. And as soon as he punched me straight in my mouth, the other two officers grabbed one arm each and he, he banged me again. So I looked at him and I said to myself, I said to him, is that all, is that, is that the best that you can do kind of thing? Is that like what you, what you can do, what you can't just have a one-on-one -on -one with me. You won't, you, if, like you need your friends like to hold me while you beat me kind of thing. Uh, because you lost one today kind of thing. He carried on punching me, shouldn't have said nothing, wrapped me up. Uh, I got a bit of a hiding, not much of a hiding, but I got some, I got, I got a few hits and pieces, and got dragged down the block, uh, down to Belmarsh, right, down to Belmarsh, uh, segregation, where it used to be an awful block, uh, where a lot of violence used to take place on a lot of inmates, right. So other incidents like this, and many more things like this happened to me over the years. You can imagine. And I used to fantasize sometimes that if I ever, ever saw you uh, on the outside, I would do some, do you some serious, serious damage. And, you know, a lot of inmates over the years, we hear them say it constantly every day. If I ever saw you outside, you wait one day, don't worry, I could bump into you again. I know where you live. You know, some, some inmates, a lot of inmates can carry feelings over the treatment from some of the prison officers, especially if it's not justified but in saying that fair to say uh on given moments at the time you're more angrier than you would be say 20 30 years later like would the anger still be as bad as you felt it then 10 15 20 30 years later uh i often wondered you know, would my reaction, would I still feel the same kind of anger? That Would I still want to do what I want to do, did what I did, what, what, what I wanted to do to him? You get what I mean? 
and the answer depending on how serious it is. Well, obviously now I'm a straight goer, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything. But today, for the first time in life, it happened to me. So I was on the train, all right, finished training, feeling a little bit hyped, and there's an officer sitting opposite me, right? And it's one that I've seen recently, so it's not a member of one from years and years ago. It's one from three, four years ago. So we're talking about one from a local London jail, uh, quite a funny character. I never really had no no issues with him. I can't remember anything bad ever happening between uh, me and him. But I remember he used to piss me off a little bit sometimes. But with the way that I think, I think totally different these days anyway. But at first it was so funny. It was like he didn't want to look at me. So I was enjoying you know, perversely for the moment that I was thinking like he was a little bit scared of me, you know, like I was playing with him almost like making, or he could have just been thinking he doesn't want to be seen talking or saying hello to me just in case he gets noticed or seen by someone talking to an ex-prisoner. Because, you you know, by talking to an ex especially with someone with my record, you might start thinking um, you, you're bringing stuff in for me and things like that. But no, I got him talking. And he said he'd seen me on YouTube. And he was there at the time. I was paralysed in hospital as well. So, you know, when they have the bed watch and the bed changeovers and things like that. And I'd seen him before the injuries as well. And I saw him as I was going, um, getting released on that last sentence. So, I was thinking, wasn't it be interesting now that you can't tell me what to do? It just passed through my mind about uh, the power that you hold whilst you're in there. Because you can't really, if, if an officer tells you to do something in prison and you say no, you can be put on report for it. You can be adjudicated for it. You can even be jumped on for it if you make a big deal out of it. So they hold some special kind of power that you often wonder, like, you know, with the badge taken away, when the power when say if you're not working in a prison and you're just on the outside, how would you be as a man then? when you haven't got that kind of power to tell people what to do, you know? You wonder if their characters, uh, I often think their characters would be totally, totally different. Or do they have to be the way they have to be in there? Not really. You can always be fair. That's what I always believe anyway. So we're talking, we're talking, we're talking. And I'm thinking it would be easy now because I've thought of at least one or two geezers that if they got their hands on him, they would want to belt him. Uh, but I, I didn't have no reason. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it now anyway, because obviously I'm a straight goer. But I was thinking if it was before I changed, I wouldn't have said anything to him. But that time in Belmarsh, when that prison officer was, he had, one was holding each arm and he was punching me and punching me. And he left a footprint on my face uh, while I was on the floor. And I remember looking up at him. And I remember going to my bed that night thinking that if I ever, ever saw you outside, I would do you something so bad, uh, you know, on that kind of way of thinking. Uh, but I wondered if it, if it would have been someone like that, how would I have taken that kind of thing? Would I have, would I have changed so much now that I would have even forgotten that kind of stuff. Because that, that borders on serious violation. Uh, I'd say no. I'd say no because I'm a changed man. But then in the back of my mind, I still can't be sure. Because up till today, even though it was a long time ago, I still, still badly hate him for it. Uh, so you have to be careful when you're mistreating inmates in there because you can bump into them any place, any time, any, any, any uh, walk, any, anywhere you live, even if you move, you can bump into someone, if you get what I mean. So I was wondering what you lot would do. Would you lot just say, no, I don't care. I would have just slagged him off, cursed him, called him all the names under the sun. Uh, but I never thought, I thought when I left him afterwards, I was remembering some couple of times he was horrible. And I was thinking I should have said something just to wind him up and make him feel. But when I looked in his face, uh, when I first saw him, I could see fear in his eyes. Uh, not because, because he would have remembered anyway that he never had nothing with me. So he wouldn't have had much to worry about. Uh, but others, 
still you're in a position of danger at the hands of how you treat people because a serious serious job and many many men because you when it's your turn to be put into a position where you can't do things the way that you could do while you're in there out here you're not such a tough tough man are you you see what i mean uh the shoe can always be on the other foot but this is interesting but first time it's happened to me and also you know that's what i was going to say it happened to me as well with a policeman but a policeman that i didn't know was a policeman at that time but i remember during those days uh doing something and when i was in a police station a couple of years later i remembered that this police this police officer lived next door to the house unfortunately uh that i was um stealing from at the time so you can meet people in the most funniest of places hope you're all right i might come up later on and do a reading we'll see